Welcome to a new Let's Play with some of our mistakes. Yesterday, some of this is already got weeds growing in it, so we do need to get the sprayer out pretty quickly after everything's drilled. But we've got the potatoes to get in as well. We are on mid spring, Thursday, the 17th of April. But uh, we will get this done. Got a full drill, we filled it up last night just before we finished. On. Get the good potatoes, not a lot of potatoes going in. Well, simply because we don't own a potato harvester, we've got a potato over, so we will be picking our tapes behind. We have got a small combine which also needs to be upgraded going forward. So, what combine we get, not too sure. We've heard a combine we've got in the yard at the moment. That will do us for the first season's growing. We need to expand the farm, grow more crops, which will mean a new field. But, uh, yeah, everything at the minute seems to be going pretty much okay. We do need ourselves a load of tractor as well, so we do need one more tractor on the farm, which is a load of tractor. Which we also need a four-wheel drive. So this could go back to the workshop and have a pump loader fitted. And we shall have a look to see if there's anything second hand four-wheel drive in the area that we could use. On here is the big tractor, although it won't be a massive tractor to get it, I think. But, uh, yeah, this is working pretty well. Uh, getting some hours on it before it goes and have the front load of it. It's uh, maybe the best way forward of a two wheel drive loader tractor. We'll see what we can get the local area as uh, a four-wheel drive tractor which will make it easier when we start the drilling start the ploughing so, now we're back down to the other end the rows are getting shorter each time now I've got to Keep pressing on though. I think we may need one more fill up before we get finished. It'll probably be, I mean, we've only got 13,779 pounds in the bank. So will be after harvest when we get a new tractor, so this one will get a bit of work 
done yet. <coughs> it's working well on the drill though, it couldn't struggle on the drill. Still not growing on the trees. So. Still get a good view through the trees of what's over in the distance. I can't remember actually whether we bought any fertilizer. We need to get some fertilizing done as soon as we get this finished. And some spraying also. We'll fertilize first, then spray the crops after. And then we'll, in, or we'll spray them and then fertilize. See which way round we go, but. The only thing at the minute is. Hey, okay for us. Not very often we have anybody helping us on the farm. Just when we are busy, like when we first started drilling, we had ploughing to get done, cultivating, so we did have somebody come in and help us part time. That will continue. And once we're harvesting, we may get someone to help us. For now, we can manage quite okay, I think. Hopefully this tractor can manage the potato planter that we've got. There won't be any headlands on the potato field, but we will sort that out in the next episode. Planting. The wheat in front of us there has come through, it's growing nicely. I don't know whether it's got any weed in it, this field seems to be weeding up. Not sure about the one that's been drilled already. Probably do the fertilising first that way, we can see where the weeds are and if there are any weeds. As I say, we need to get this barley drilled today. Me. We need to get the potatoes in tomorrow. We may need some more seed fetching from the shop as well before we start potato planting. But we will work that out as we go. soil whilst we do the drilling so that's a okay going forward it stops the weeds from encroaching and stopping the crop from coming through at least swung around old it's an old sheep farm there whether anybody works there or not I don't know We shall now pop along this way again. We are getting quickly over to the far end of the field. We will finish it off camera if we get to the anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes. I didn't say that if we do videos of 30, 15 to 45 minutes, very rarely do we go over 30. 
times we've had one go for about 32 minutes before we finish the episode when we lose track of time. because it doesn't get a lot of work it may be also taken in put the drone up so you can see exactly what's going on here you can see how quickly the rows come shorter as we go forward There's a fairly sharp edge down that side where the rows are coming shorter. We've got just over half a bin of seed left in. We're not going to get across here before we need to fill up. Try and run without borrowing any money if we can, because that way we know exactly where we are money-wise all the time. And then we've got the extortionate costs of having a loan each day and uh, yeah, we are getting the barley in Two fields of wheat, although one field of wheat has got a board patch in it where the potatoes are going. We've got three arable fields, a couple of grass fields. We need to get some, some grass cut as well as soon as we can going forward. And that is also why we need front loader tractor as well so this may well once we get the drilling done we may well take this to the shop put a front loader on it not sure whether we're going to have sheep or cattle on the farm at the minute not made our mind up but we are going to have some animals I've got the two grass fields, so uh, make use of the grass fields, get what we can for ourselves and so we don't need. Yeah, no. Getting into the sharper edge of the field where it really does get shorter each time get a lot shorter each time now we are down to 33 percent of seed in the offer Too many weeds over in the wheat fields at the minute. I don't want the weeds choking out the wheat at the minute. So now, got it doesn't appear to be any weeds growing in that. Although in here, it does appear that it's got some weeds growing in it. So. We shall see going forward.
things. Let's try and straighten this up if we can. Now I've got a bit of a bend in the rows. And again. Let's follow back down again. Try and keep as straight as we can. Not being straight thus far. For now. This breed looks as if it's a little bit straighter, although this end is a bit wider, so we will straighten it through. Now it's 23% of seed in the hopper. And that should now. Bit of straight beans since we started. 22% of seed left. I think we can get another breed or another round. Away we go. We're not quickly getting to the end of the field anyway, so we won't need to get a full tank, I don't think, when we start off again. Probably less left to do than what the looks with the rows getting shorter. We have got to get all the radios for over Christmas uploaded and sorted out. Well, not uploaded, but recorded edited before Christmas and we haven't got long left, we've probably left it a little late but it does mean there are a few less left to get done. And things going well here. We have 16% left and we have 22 so we may even get another round done before we need to go and put any seed in. Join us back next time. We shall be planting the potatoes. Back around we go. Windmill there in the edge of our field. It's spinning in the breeze. Doesn't appear to be a lot of wind here today. Uh, that those sails are actually turning. I suppose we we'll get up there where the tops of the sails are if it's catching a bit of breeze. I haven't heard any of the aeroplanes fly over yet. Normally get the jets from a local airfield flying over. Left, so we should get back to the other end and be able to get over and top up the seed. Not to get to the end, we'll only have to put about 20%, 25% in here, I think. Which is good. Very Fergie's parked on the roadside, it would be pleased to get that in the yard safe. We are going to be empty when we get down this end. We're near enough. We shall get 
at the end of that, that is it. We shall go and fill it up. You can see we've come a fair way across the field. Diesel in, so I'm going to worry about diesel at the moment. We need to back across the road. Which is the awkward part if anybody wants to come through. And that should do us 39%. Seed in. We will now get started going back. Turn the drill on ready. So it's turned in here. And away we go. There's the last leg of the field. seed left over from this we shall see as we go forward back to that end again so getting a bit closer well, couple of three yards each time we're getting shorter, this time we're about five yards, I think, five, six yards shorter. But we, we're getting everything in. Bring the camera down a bit further. You can actually hear the Master Ferguson working. shed then and the potato planter and we'll put on the tractor ready for the next job. about there next time so very close to getting this barley drill and here we are back at the end again probably two rounds left to do Three breeds actually. Away we go again down to the far end. <coughs> it will soon be all drilled up this end. There we go. That has got to where we start off again. A good way to travel back to where we need to set in. Back 
to use the areas that's the thin strip and we'll get set into it and there will be just a little bit left at the end left to do drilled we can take this now back to the yard and get ready for tomorrow with the potato planting hope you've enjoyed watching us drill the barley please give us a like give us a share drop us a comment if you're new to summer palm states you'd like to see more of the work we do here please subscribe to the channel Give that bell a ring, it will tell you when we do these videos, when we do our live streams, until you join us next time. Thank you very much for watching, have a great day, and goodbye for now.